Hi, this is Mr. Hadiwich, and this is your child's binder, or an example of your child's binder. So I just wanted to go through it with you so I could point a few things out to you and to let you know what it looks like. So it's just their binder that they brought from school. You notice the clip right away. That's to hold their book, whatever book we're reading. So right now we're reading the Chocolate Touch, so that's located right there. So if they need their book, all they should have to do, and I went through this with the kids, is just pull it off, put it down, you know, wherever, obviously they can sit wherever they want, but um, then they just read it, and then they should put it back right away. These are a little bit older, so some of them are going to be falling apart, but it's the best we have right now. So uh, once they finish with it, there is uh, an assignment. Typically, that's located on their Schoology page um, that they can do if for whatever reason they can't do their journal response on their Schoology page, they can always just write it right in their notebook. And quite honestly, it does not matter where. Um, I would just start right at the first page and just put journal entry, um, book, or the chocolate touch, and then write a short response. And there'll be directions for that that are coming on their school G page. So again, we'll talk through that school, um, but this is something that they should be doing every day. They'll read a chapter or two, and then they'll write some kind of a journal response. And that could be on paper, it could be on Flipgrid, it could be on Padlet, um, or it could be right in their school G discussion. We'll just kind of have to work through and see what works best for everyone. But there are options available, so they don't have to do things online in case you don't have access to online things. Um, so moving on, I just have a couple staples things, things that we do uh, you know, on a daily basis, I will do on a daily basis. They will have some kind of folder in there. Um, and then red is always for reading, or pink in this case. So I just have a super text detectives pack it in there for them and they have the whole thing again they would just need to set it up pull it out and then there'll be a separate video about this stuff but then they just open it up and they do their reading and they do their job close it back up put it right back in nothing is ever torn out and nothing is ever saved in that way so Everything should just stay put together and in a binder. Yellow is for handwriting. Same thing, and I talked about this with the kids too. You know, they just need to be responsible and careful and take it and pull it out and do their handwriting for the day. And then as soon as they're done with it, they put it right back in. Again, nothing's torn out, nothing's turned in. Um, I'll take a look at everything as we go through and as they come back. So their binder should stay, I mean, pretty much stay right in their backpack so they can get it and then they can use it, whether it's at home or at school, and um, put it right back in there. It's like a traveling desk almost. So the blue is always for math, and right now I just have the math minutes in there, and this is their packet. So I don't think I need to show you that again, but they pull it out. They do their job and they put it right back in. Some of these um, they're gonna find they don't know how to do. I will have, or my plan is to have videos posted online that goes through uh, almost everything that we do just like this. So almost like a corrections video so they can double check everything. How well that turns out, I don't know because it takes a little bit of time to do all that. Um, but that would be the intent behind it. If that doesn't happen, I told them they can skip one or two if they absolutely don't know them, but they shouldn't be skipping like five or six of them. Um, so again, just goes back in the binder, and, and then the green is for grammar, and I just have a grammar packet here, the same thing, we'll do the same thing with. Um, the stuff inside, the materials inside, may change as we go through this hybrid, hybrid process. Um, 
I may add things, I may take things away, we may find we don't use things, all of that. So as the kids come to school, we'll talk through it, we'll decide what we want to keep, what works well, what doesn't work well. And that's really it. The only thing I've told the kids um, is they just need to be super responsible and careful with their binder because over time, you know, you know and I've seen stuff just kind of falls apart. So if we're going to keep these for three months, we just have to be careful with them. They will also take home their computer charger and their school computer. Please have them use their school computer whenever possible, um, just because everything's already bookmarked and linked. And then their charger will stay at home. And they should charge their computer uh, every night because There'll be a four-day stretch at, uh, at home. That's why we're keeping them at home, because there'll be a four-day stretch between the time they come to school. So if they take it home on no charger, um, there's a pencil that's going to run out of battery. So I'd rather just have them keep it at home than bring their computer back to school. So this is their binder. Their computer will go home also. Their charger will go home also, but this is really everything they should need. I would recommend, and I'm trying to um, get some like pencil packs that kind of go right in here. Just they're like little plastic baggies, and then you stick pencils and highlighters in there for specific things. Like for those find the evidence, there's six different colors that they need. If it can all be packaged in one place, it'll be super easy to. Do. So uh, that's really about it. Please let me know if you have any questions, uh, any ideas, suggestions, concerns, or if something doesn't work for, for you, I can work with families just to make sure because I don't know everyone's situation and how their situations may change over the course of the next three months. So this is just kind of an initial setup. Um, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching this video to completion. And Again, send me an email if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.